Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to film this week's video. I have a lot of things to get done for this week. I also got a new like planner thing online on Notion. I downloaded like a template and I'm excited because it's been helping me kind of get my tasks in order. So I've kind of, I planned out the tasks I need to do today and then each day I plan out the tasks for that day. So I'm very excited to get started. I'm feeling very productive this week. I got a lot done. I'll show you guys the frame. Today is a holiday here in Canada. So I am taking it slow today. I don't have any orders to get out. I'm just preparing them for tomorrow so I can pack them and ship them and drop them off at the post office tomorrow But yesterday I spent the entire day doing coasters. I did 20 car coasters in about seven and a half hours I took a little bit of a break obviously to eat and you know rest my hand But yeah, this was done in about seven and a half hours Maybe eight hours to be safe because I did finish these two this morning. But yeah, oh my god So I'm making good progress through the orders that I have right now I already have some punch needle stuff that I did last week and I did on Friday So a couple of orders are already ready to go out the ones that are scheduled to go out tomorrow The 8th and the 9th and also now the 10th with this So yeah, I can get started on the mug rugs now those ones take the most time because they're so big so I need to get started on that but obviously I can't punch needle all day every day because I have other things of the business to do especially like preparing for the launch so yeah the first thing that I do want to do because one of the orders that's supposed to go out tomorrow I'm missing five stickers uh, so I'm gonna prepare that on Cricut and print that out first and then another order that has to go out this week has four of the groovy rainbow glass cups and I also have an order for a groovy rainbow glass cup from my website so I'm gonna make five of those or at least I'm gonna print the vinyl out today and then hopefully I'll get started on them so I could just have it done but we'll see I also need to take a break for lunch at some point because I already went to the gym today and it's about 12 o'clock I think now yeah it's actually 12 o'clock on the dot so I need to have lunch in about an hour or so so I'm staying with my meals because I can't be skipping any meals here we're gonna get started with the making of stickers I also have a new desk coming from Amazon today I'm so excited it's a standing desk and my back is literally singing to the heavens right now because doing punch needle like cutting the edges and gluing them and honestly packing orders just like doing everything because I do most of the stuff standing I don't like really sit down unless I'm doing punch needle and instead of a gray top it has like a wooden top I'm just excited. I'll show you guys in this video like me unboxing it and setting it up and all that and I think it's gonna go right behind me or I have to move some stuff around but we'll see. I don't know what I'm doing yet so yeah let's get started. Okay, so I have finished cutting out all the vinyl. I didn't film it because I was kind of jumping back and forth between like three different things at once. While that was cutting, I was gluing some stuff, so it was really hard to film. I didn't feel like 
setting the camera up in like every different area. So I just did that off camera. Now it is 1.30 and I need to have lunch because I'm starving. I'm trying not to buy lunch as frequently as I used to. So I'm making pasta with this much pasta of like different shapes because I'm trying to stick to no buying lunch. I cut most of the vinyl for most of the cups that need to be made today. I just have to weed them now, um, but I'm going to do that after I eat. And then I still have to glue the coasters, so I'm going to do that as well after lunch. And then we'll see where we're at for time. I Hopefully I want to make those glasses and at least get the coasters glued. I also have to cut the car coaster backing cards for all the wholesale orders that have car coasters. But yeah, we still have a, quite a bit of work left to do, but in order for me to continue, I need to have lunch. So that's what I'm going to do and then we'll come back. I am going to make these glasses. I'm using transfer tape to see if it makes it any faster or not. Um, but basically, you guys have seen me make this glass a multitude <laughs> of times, probably. Um, I start with the flowers to get the placement correct. So far, it doesn't look like it's going faster. Um, but I have memorized how to do this glass by now because I've made it so many times. Um, but basically I'm just going to go ahead and make this glass and I'll probably speed through the process. So I'll see you guys once all the glasses have been made. finished the glasses well actually i finished the groovy rainbows glass i do need to finish the cat mom glass but that's only one so and it takes like literally 30 seconds these ones took me i want to say about half an hour i had to make five of them so i can't hold up all five because they'll drop but here are the four and then the other five i mean the other last one is for a shopify order so now i'm gonna glue all of the car coasters that I made yesterday and then I have to go pick up the dinner 
and then I'll come back and probably do some more stuff. I'm getting in two deliveries today. I think I already mentioned about my table and then the air fresheners are supposed to be getting delivered this evening. So hopefully when I get back from getting dinner, they'll already be here because there's some new designs and I'm just so excited to finally have some more air freshener stock because we've been out of stock of air fresheners for a long time. I just finished prepping all of the car coasters. I glued them. The only step left to do on these um, is just to check which ones need the threads pulled apart. Sometimes the threads get like, I'm trying to find an example, like right here, see that one peach thread? It's like in the white thread. So I just take tweezers and I pick them apart just so that you can kind of see the design better. And it looks neat and tidy. So that's the last step I have to do for this batch. <laughs> Could probably hear my cat he's meowing so here is the stack of what i did yesterday it looks so aesthetic together i want to get a picture of like all of the coasters that i've done so far like for my instagram and for my pinterest and also for some listing photos so i actually bought bulletin board paper i'm not sure if i mentioned this in last week's video but i wanted to find bulletin board paper and i went to michael's and then when i right as i was leaving i was passing like the teacher section and then I saw bulletin board paper. I wanted pink and orange but they only had white left so I just picked up the white just for like a clean background because I have a gray desk and it just doesn't look nice in my feed. So basically I'm going to lay it out after and I'm going to like align the coasters and put them all together, take a couple of different shots and some single shots of each coaster design and maybe one of all of them together. So that's what I'm going to do but I am first going to build my desk because it actually came in. I don't know if I'm going to need two people, but I really hope that I can do it by myself because nobody is home. It's just me and my cats, and my cats are not going to be able to help me. Let's get to building this desk. So I finished putting it together. I didn't film it because it wasn't pleasant seeing me build that. <laughs> um, it wasn't really hard, but it's just like I have to bend down and my back really hurts, so I just didn't film it. are currently on my old table but I just set it up and I need to sweep and vacuum but this is gonna be so good for my back now I don't have to like hunch over when I'm packing orders prepping coasters this is gonna be so good so good I just have to figure out how we're gonna set up the rest of the situation here because it's looking a little crazy. It, it looks so good and it brightens up the space with like the bamboo top it really it really makes everything come together. It looks so good. Please let me know in the comments below if you think this table looks good. 
I think it looks really good. I'm so excited. It's so cute and I have an idea. Okay, so I kind of adjusted some stuff around here. It's not ready yet and I need to kind of get it moving, but I can't decide whether I want that little Ikea Alex drawer on the outside of the desk or underneath. I like it underneath because it saves space and I'm able to put that table back over there, but my chair, because I brought my iMac down, so I wanted to bring my chair down as well so I could sit and do work if I wanted to. I'm gonna continue doing this and then I'll see you guys when I'm back because it's probably gonna take a little longer and we have more work to do. Good morning, everybody. I just got back from the gym and I was doing some emails and just responding to some DMs and now we're gonna get right into the stuff that we have to do today. I have some cool, fun things planned. The first thing I wanna do is cut the um, car vent charm backing cards because I have an order that needs to go out with those in there so I can't send that order if I don't have the cards. So I'm going to cut those cards around the corners, do the X's, the whole nine yards, and then I'm gonna package up those orders so that they're ready to go. That way when I'm ready to go to the post office, I'm not scrambling to get the orders packed. And then I am going to give you guys a little tour of the new space. As you can see, I am kind of hiding it. So I'm gonna show you guys right after I prep uh, this order. And then I'm gonna show you guys what I came up with last night. It took me way longer than like 30 minutes like I had originally planned. I was literally doing this all night. So I'm excited to show you guys the new space because I love it and I'm feeling so productive today. So let's get right into it. show you guys what the office looks like. I think it looks really good. You can let me know down in the comments below if you think it looks nice. I really like it and I think that the new table really brightens up the space but I'm going to show you guys what it looks like now. So here's the new table. It looks so good. Don't mind the cord underneath. I'm just letting the hot glue gun cool down. But it looks so good. I'm finally able to bring my pink iMac back down here because it used to be upstairs on my white desk but now I can have it here to pack orders. It's so much better for my neck having the higher table and my big computer because I wear glasses and I literally cannot see, like legit. Anyway, so then I have the pegboard still behind. There's nothing behind the computer obviously because I can't really get to it. And then we have the drawers, having the, shib the shipping printer right there. It's really, really good. Then I have my Cricut there. And then beside the Cricut, I have my power cord that has everything plugged into it. And then over here, we have kind of like the making slash shipping station here. I just have some new air freshener stock here, sneak peek of a new design if you saw it. And then, yeah, so basically I have my laptop there just cause I use it sometimes. But this is the shipping table and then this one is like where my heat press and stuff is. Then obviously this stayed the same. I have my printers, my mug press, and then I have just like some inventory. The sticker shelf is dwindling. With stock, we obviously have the stock shelf over there and then the slipper shelf. Okay, so I just got back from the post office. I also had lunch because I was hungry. Duh. Um, but now I'm going to show you guys the four new air fresheners that are coming. I don't know when I plan on launching them. Maybe at the end of this week. I'm not really sure yet. I don't have a plan for these because they were supposed to be here last week. But let me show you because they're so freaking cute. So the first one we have says enjoy the now it's in lemon scent i'm going to open these all up and test their smell um and see if it's the same as the sample smells that i got but the lemon one smelled delish so i'm excited then we have this groovy scenery and it's in the scent vanilla i already have a vanilla scented air freshener which is the disco ball guy which is actually restocking with these things but the vanilla is just so good so i got it I also really like the coconut, but I didn't order any coconut scented stuff. Anyway, then I got this one that says doing your best looks different every day. And this one's in the strawberry scent. The same scent as the manifesting good vibes. 
air freshener. So very cute. Smells delish. Love her. And then we got a fall slash Halloween design. And I'm very excited because I don't normally like to do too many like uh, holiday specific items other than Christmas. Just because sometimes they don't sell very good and then I have like leftover stock because I have to wait till next year. But this one's so cute and the air fresheners do so well so I'm thinking that you guys are really going to like this one. But it's October Mood. Obviously you would have this in your car in October. It smells like cinnamon. They didn't really have too many autumn scented smells so I had to choose wisely. They had cedar but it didn't smell very good. So we didn't get that one. But she's so cute. This one is by SVG Society. Or oh, actually most of them. All three of these ones are you these three are all by svg society i'll leave their link down below and this one is by my queen brie i'll also leave her link down below in case you're a small business owner i want to get some really cool designs and support another small business i'll leave all their links down below but yeah i'm so excited i have another air freshener restock in the works they're currently I already paid the invoice for it, so now I'm just waiting on it to finish, and it should be here maybe at the beginning of September. There's a lot of air freshers in that order, so it's going to take a little bit for them to make it. And I also have another really cool product coming in, um, I want to say in the next week or so. I asked how long the shipping's going to take, and they said that they had already dropped it off at the like courier or whatever, so I should get a tracking number soon, but in the next week or so, I'm excited to show you guys what it is. Um, it's a pattern that I designed myself, so I don't know if that gives you any hints, but I designed one of the patterns myself. I learned how to make repeating patterns, so I made one, and then I was like, I'm obsessed with this one, let's put it on everything. Okay guys, so I think I'm going to close out this video here. We got a lot of stuff done that I wanted to get done today, and the main priority was trying to fulfill all of these orders, or at least get them prepped and ready to ship out in case there's anything missing. So we got a lot done. We got photos taken. I still have to edit them and like just fine tune them a little bit and maybe add some stuff on Procreate, like some doodles or whatever. I also got a punch needle frame done today. So everything it was just super productive day. So I'm really happy about that. We still have so much more work cut out for us. So I'm probably gonna start a new vlog probably right after this. But if you guys did enjoy this vlog, please make sure to leave a like. That really does help push out my videos to other people who like to watch studio vlogs. And if you want to watch more studio vlogs, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys all next week. Bye!